So, the struggle this time is getting my mother to wear clean clothes. It just goes from thing to thing. So about a month or so ago, they started telling me they just cannot get my mother to uh, relinquish her clothes for the wash. And to be really honest, she has been wearing the same pair of jeans with the same flowered shirt that you're going to see in this video forever. She wore them for, I swear, about 90 straight days. Um... They approached me, they had already tried everything. It's not unusual to get to this point in assisted living. And they had approached me and asked me if they, if there was anything I could do or if I had any great ideas about this. So what I ended up doing was bringing her clothes and then just, <laughs> my dog's ringing the bell. Jules, come here. What I ended up doing was bringing clothes up and the first time I actually got her out of her clothes pretty easily. And now it's not so much. That's my dog. Hi, what are you doing? Hi, stop. And the issue that they were having and I started to have the same thing is even though the clothes are hanging in her closet, she doesn't believe they're hers. Her, in fact, at one point I said, Mom, your, uh, your name's right here in them. And she went, no, then that's not how I spell my name. It is. It, and I brought all the clothes. I know they're her clothes. Nothing is mixed up. And she wore the flowered shirt forever. They tried everything. They tried to go in in the middle of the night and just take her clothes and wash them while she was sleeping. And that didn't work. The poor aide said, I, I can't do it. The woman sleeps with one eye open. And that's really true with my mom. She's always been a light sleeper. And they say as soon as the door cracks open just a little, she goes, hello. So they couldn't do that. It, it, an argument would take place. It's quite true. So like I said, the first time I didn't have an issue and now everything is an issue. So I'm going to clip some videos in and, and you can just see she gets real obsessive with them and that flowered shirt that no one could get off of her for 90 days. I got there today, brought it back, washed, and she was like, that's not my shirt. That doesn't fit. It's too big. It's too small. I don't like it. Okay. I did manage to get her jeans changed, or the pants she was wearing, but you'll see she's going to pick up clothes and pull stuff out and swear on, you know, a stack of Bibles that they're not her clothes. And I'll tell you how I finally got her partially to get her clothes changed. I'm going to put a couple clips in of uh, the struggle. I should have called you. You should have called me for what? To have you stitch that? To, to stitch it. Oh. Well, if you don't like the shirt, it's okay. I think it I looks like nice. The shirt. I just, I, like I said, I just, <clears throat> I just need to just. <clears throat> it's too long. You know, it's like. Yeah, I think it's like my shirt. It's meant to see how my <coughs> sleeves roll. I think it's meant to roll the sleeves. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Here, let me see if there's a button that'll stop that. So it's buttoned now. Is that better or not? You don't like it? No? If you move it. Oh, it comes right apart. Because it's the same thing. Yeah, it's a pretty old shirt. That's why. Yeah. I buttoned it. Okay. It doesn't. You can't. It doesn't stay. 
I don't have a. It, I don't think I have a pin. Get it on and off. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. I don't think I have a safety pin for it. You know what to put it on. Yeah, I hear you. Well, you know what, Mom? You don't have to wear that if you don't like it. Your sweater's right there on the chair. I know, but it's hot. It's hot. I wonder if I could stitch it myself. I don't have no needle. I don't think where there's any sewing stuff here. To stitch it and then just leave it like this. Yeah. Why don't you roll it up one more? See, then you get all that. Well, wait a minute. Let me see. Oh, it's got a rip in it. That's why it's not staying. Yeah. I didn't realize that. I'll get rid yeah, of the so shirt. You can get so why don't you just take that shirt off See. and I'll I'll get rid of it cuz it's I didn't realize it was ripped at the cuff. Well, you know what? Why don't you, yeah, take that off and we'll get you another sweater. You can put the one back on. Here, I'll take that home. It's too bad. Yeah, it is too bad. You think you can do it? Stitch it? I probably can, but I can't do it here. I have to take it home. Sorry. I didn't realize that when I brought it that it was ripped. Too much, so. Too hot? Are you cold without it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. When you get on there, when the summer is really here, you can wear it. Well, no, I know, but summer's summer's not here yet. Yeah. How about a sweatshirt? Sure, cool. Well, you can do that. Here. Why don't, how about this sweater? Do you want to try that one? <clears throat> That's a nice sweater. It's huge. It's well, that's okay. I don't think it's that huge. It looks like it fits the same as your other one. So, no, it's it fits just like the one you took off. I know, but it's hot. Um, I can't help you. The only other one you have is just a short sleeve. Yeah. So you need something that's short sleeve but lighter than a sweater. I, I, had, I, I had, will get on that. I got this before. I wear it sometime. Yeah. But it's too hot for summer. Yeah. I tried to sell it. Nobody wanted it. <laughs> Having a little garage sale here, are you? No, I asked the lady down there to put it out there and see if it would sell. Right. And that's not happening. Down there, everybody goes. No, huh? You have to walk around. Didn't know they had garage sales here. You want to take it home? Uh, no, leave that here just in case you need it. This is not mine either. That's yours. I like that one. It's not mine though. No. Yeah, it is. No. I brought it from home. That's it. That's it, huh? Yeah. I have another shirt for you if you want to change that shirt. That one. Which one? No, no, I have another shirt. Like if you want a, this, if you want this one, if you want to change that shirt. I have one just like it, different colored stripes. I don't like the little sleeve though. Uh, how about one more? Hold on. Because nothing ever works. Ay, ay, ay. How about this one, Mom? See? These are mine. Yeah, those are, the, those are yours. I brought them from the wash. How about this one? I think it's the same one I had. Well, look at it. It's 
It's lighter. It's not as heavy as a sweat sweater. Yeah. It is just like the one I caught here. Yeah, but it's lighter than your sweater. No, you don't want to put that on. I'll try it. Okay, you try it. And I need to get this purple one out of here. I like that one. I know. I like it. I think it looks good. I you know. can unbutton the top here if you if it's too much. Do you want that unbuttoned? Because you got another shirt under it. I know. You can. That looks good, Mom. I can't take the other shirt off. That's okay. This is don't go up. Uh, all right. It just flops all over the place. That's okay, because you know what? I'm taking your other stuff right to the wash, and then you can have it back. Okay, and then we'll switch and you can get the clothes that you like better. How's that sound? Yeah? Just leave them. All right.